Okay, let's talk about Marc Jacobs' decadence. Let's start with the first impressions. No. Yeah. Yeah, no. See, decadence is not like what I expected at all. From what I was expecting from the name, this is like a completely different kind of perfume. Because what you expect from a name like decadence is a perfume that smells, for one thing, smells chocolatey. Because the word decadence is often like, you say decadent chocolate. This is not that. This is a very different kind of perfume for me at least. Because decadence takes the main note of plum and then it adds vetiver and it adds saffron and it kind of smells like it's trying to be a very head turning seductive kind of perfume but for me the one main thing that it really misses in kind of the thing is that a lot of the notes are clashing together you know what decadence smells like decadence smells like it was the first draft of a perfume which was supposed to be released it was like they took like they had a corporate meeting and they decided okay, we're gonna release this perfume and we name, want to name it decadence and we're gonna put all these notes together and they had like the first draft and that was it like push it out right now because this smells like it can go to two three iterations more before it becomes perfect because the main problem here is that a lot of the notes for me are clashing together if i were to like give someone a perfume i want that perfume to be quite like rememberable and that's the main problem with decadence decadence is starting to beginning to come into this like territory where all the notes clashing together are sort of like making it smell like no note in particular and like the harmony here isn't working for me at all i think this can like do much better if the notes were much more separated at least for me and other than that when someone says a decadent perfume i can think of like 10 different perfumes other than decadence that smell much more decadent and like even so far i've only smelled two perfumes with plum as like the main note and neither of them are working for me this is still a lot better than one second this one dior poison i mean this is like an absolutely interesting perfume from what i've smelled but this is at least for me a lot more acceptable as sort of a dinner perfume as a night out perfume i still don't really recommend decadence over a lot of other perfumes which i think are much much better than decadence but as far as like not being a bad perfume decadence is still in the good territory it's not in the great territory for me let's talk about the note structure here okay so the main note you're gonna smell here is definitely plum, but it's much more dry plum. There's not much juiciness that I get here. Maybe it's the vetiver that's bringing it down. And as for saffron, I don't get much saffron at all. For me personally, it's just plum and vetiver mostly and none of the other notes. The note separation here is not good. I really feel a lot of them are like clashing together in a really bad way for me. And as for like the sillage and projection, this definitely is a strong perfume because like I sprayed it on here and still coming off very strongly. I really think like this can last for like eight to 10 hours easily on skin and longer on clothes. And definitely I think the projection is gonna be really nice with it because of how strong it is. But I don't uh, test all the perfumes out on my skin all the time because you know I'm a guy, I'm not gonna wear like female perfumes a lot of the time I'm already wearing male perfumes for me for myself all the time I can still test out female perfumes time to time on my skin but decadence is just not one I would enjoy on my skin at all as for who do I see this on I can really see this on someone who's really into going out on the night during dinners someone who's maybe like a real foodie I think for me really this is like a restaurant kind of perfume this is classy you're wearing a dress you're out you're exploring restaurants you may be going to bars, clubs, drinking beer, whatever. This is that kind of perfume, a night out on town perfume for me. Maybe partying, clubbing as well. And that's pretty much it. You don't wear it to the office. You don't wear it to college. You don't wear it during the day to anywhere really. And even at night, if you're going to a very formal place, I really can't recommend this 
I can only recommend this at night if you're going out to dinners and that's pretty much it. Who would like it? I think someone who's really, who really loves plum as a note and someone who's like really tired of all like the vanilla based perfumes, they want something really different and they want to smell very unique. This is a very good choice for them. I don't like it, but I can see the potential here for a lot of other people to like it. I think this will be a really good super hit among other people who want to smell unique. I can really say this is kind of like a person who's kind of wanting to smell different from others. That kind of person, you're gonna enjoy this. For people who want a more mass pleasing perfume, I don't recommend this over like other 10 different perfumes that I can recommend. So that's all I have to say about decadence for now. And that's pretty much like my final thought is it's supposed to be like a head turning clubbing perfume. But for me, it's not succeeding in that. And I much rather recommend other perfumes in that genre. But I still can see some people liking it. So that's pretty much it. See you in the next one.